Hi everybody and welcome to another video on our way to the Find Your Joy free taster course starting on May 20th. This one, I love this question. This question is from Beth. Beth says, I've moved my landscapes from more realistic to more abstract. I see so many images of landscape paintings that speak to me, and I sometimes feel that everything that I might do has already been done. Intellectually, I know that my work is unlikely to be like any other, but I feel unsure of my voice. So this is a great question, Beth, and I remember this feeling. So people would say to me, do the thing that feels most like you. Do your own art. Do you. Don't do someone else. And I think, but I don't know what that is. I don't think I have anything original inside me. I can only see what other people are doing. And that looks great. And I want that. But I can't imagine what I'm going to do that's going to be different from that just the way you're feeling. And this is the thing about our limited thinking mind. It can only see what it already knows. So it can see the work of the artist you admire. It can see the things you've done in the past. It cannot envisage what is going to happen that hasn't happened yet. It has no way of imagining that. And so that makes us think that that thing is not possible. But if you look back over your life, there will be other things that have happened in your life that you could not have envisaged. When they happened, you look back, you think, oh yeah, I see how that happened. But it, does, it wasn't obvious to you, certainly before it had happened. And our art is like that. And it doesn't come to us in a big blinding flash. What happens is we start making our way forward, inching forward. We start pinching things from those people we've seen that we admire. We appropriate some colours or some marks or some compositions. I certainly did that. I actually spent some time copying into my sketchbook paintings that I admired. Sometimes I took the colours and then tried to make my own composition but made myself mix their colours. Sometimes I tried to replicate their textures. I just copied in order to learn. I would never put any of that stuff up for sale. That was stuff for me in my sketchbooks or on scraps of paper. And a lot of it was very disappointing. A lot of it I couldn't get the effects I could see other people getting. But the point was... I was just trying things out and we all should do that and try out the things you love in other people's work and never worry that that's going to um, permanently, you know, make you a permanent copy. That's not going to happen. You are going to be your own Beth. When your style starts to emerge, it will be clear to everyone that it's your style. It will be something you could not have imagined. Mine certainly was but it will be something that makes perfect sense to you given your past interests. And I'll give you an example in my case. So my work currently is very much about collage and paint mixed together and a lot of sanding back collage to create interesting textures. And I really love making the collages, putting the collage pieces on, even the ones that are going to get covered up or sanded back to something unrecognizable. I get great joy from that process. And it reminds me that when I was maybe 11, 12, 13, I got into a thing of making birthday cards for people using out of collage. So I'd make get some card and then I'd stick pieces of newsprint, you know, anything, all related to things they loved. So if they were a football fan, then their favourite team would be all over this card. Anything to do with them, I would collage onto this card. And then, because I didn't know how to get something to cover it all up, I would cover it up with clear sellotape, sticky tape. I would put strips of that on to protect it all. And that was their card. Now, I loved making those cards. Now, here I am all these years later using collage and really enjoying applying it. It's just funny how these things come down through our lives and it will be something different for you. Also, I really love stone walls and I love the textures of the stone or any old stone actually. Anything really ancient, I love old worn surfaces. And the, the collage effects I'm getting with sanding, they look like old worn surfaces, but that wasn't a conscious decision on my part to do that. It's just that I recognize it now and say, oh yeah, look, it's old worn surfaces coming through, my love of that. 
So these things just naturally come through and it takes time for more of you to get into your work. Some people are faster at that than others. Some people are really good at just putting all of themselves into their work quite quickly. I think I've been quite slow and I think it's been a process over a few years. I feel like I'm coming into my work fully now, but I feel like it's taken some time. But I can genuinely say now that I look at my paintings and they're not like the paintings of the people I admired when I first started making abstract landscapes. I can honestly say they're mine. I can, I know they're original. That doesn't mean that we're going to be Picasso, you know, and we're going to start a whole new movement. I'm not that original. But it just means I feel confident that I could not be accused of copying anybody else. And I know that because my work comes from the things I'm interested in and following my own curiosity. So how could it be derivative of someone else? And so that's possible for you too, Beth. Um, and it will happen. Everything that you... Um, Everything that you might do has not already been done. We just don't know yet what it is you're going to do that's going to be unique and different. But I know you're going to do it. It'll be really interesting to see you work through the free course that's coming up in May because a lot of what we do is about leading you through different exercises to start finding your own things and I'm really excited to see what happens for you, Beth, and for anybody else who has that same concern that I want to find my style, but I don't think I have anything original to say. I promise you, you do. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.